Let's take a journey to Venice, Italy. A place that evokes wonder, mystery, and intrigue. Marvel at the beautiful waterways and the elegant architecture. Visit the seat of the Venetian Republic and step inside the city's most famous palazzos. Witness firsthand how this marvelous city has transformed over time. Day one in Venice, we arrived by train. This is the Venezia Santa Lucia station. From here you can take a water taxi or a water bus called a Vaporetti to get to wherever you need to go. There are several bridges that connect you to different parts of Venice. We did have to take our luggage over these, but we had really small suitcases, so it wasn't too difficult. Luckily, our hotel was only a five minute walk from the station. Each room here has a name instead of a number. We stayed in the Vandolo room. So, are you ready for some lunch, people? Yes? Let's get some pizza. We found a great restaurant close to our hotel called Osteria Ay Cravate. As an appetizer, we ordered a delicious bruschetta with tomato and olives. And for lunch, a seafood pasta. It was one of the best meals we had in Italy. After lunch, we went to explore the city. There are so many scenic bridges here and almost everywhere you look is a great photo opportunity. We soon reached the famous Rialto Bridge. Next, we made it to the Piazza San Marco. This is the principal public square of Venice. Here you can find St. Mark's Campanile. You can go all the way to the top of the tower on an elevator and take in the gorgeous views. We definitely made sure to take our time here. I highly recommend visiting the Campanile so that you too can enjoy the best views Venice has to offer. For many years, gondolas have been one of the primary forms of transportation in Venice. About 400 are in service today for visitors. A gondola ride is usually $80 and lasts for 25 to 30 minutes. It is expensive, but if it's your first time in Venice, I definitely recommend trying them at least once. Next, we continued our walk around the plaza and saw St. Mark's Basilica, then made our way to the Doge's Palace, also known as the Palazzo Ducale. Built in Venetian Gothic style, the palace was the residence of the Doge of Venice, the leader of the former Venetian Republic. Here you can see the doge's apartments, government offices, and courtrooms. We entered the courtyard and made our way inside. The architecture is beautiful and you truly feel like you're stepping back in time. On display there are many interesting artifacts to admire. 
you can also walk through the famous Bridge of Sighs. The bridge linked the palace to the prisons. Prisoners were said to sigh as they looked out the windows, getting their last glimpse of freedom. These cells were often reserved for those accused of political crimes. A famous prisoner was Giacomo Casanova, who managed to escape in the 1700s. We soon reach the Chamber of the Great Council. The chamber is the largest and most majestic in the palazzo, and has the most intricate ceiling I've seen in any palace in Europe. It is truly a marvel to look at. Next up, let's see what it's like to visit Venice during Carnival. It was first held in the 11th century, but was banned in the 1700s when Venice was conquered by Napoleon. The festival was reinstated in 1979 and there's a series of masked balls, private parties, and contests that you can take part in. Next, it was time for our very own gondola ride. We enjoyed the wonderful views and felt fortunate to visit this one-of-a-kind city. We had a great time here and couldn't believe the days went by so fast. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.